Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to access files on your Synology NAS via the Windows File Explorer. Now, we're on a Windows 11 based system, but this works with all versions of Windows. So, if you open up Windows Explorer, you'll see that there is no NAS drive here. We can't connect to it via this method. So, I'm going to show you how to get your NAS drive to show up inside this area here. So a lot of people have issues with this, so I thought I'd make a video to show you how to do it. If you click on Network here, you'll see it is detected here as a other device. You can see this is my Office NAS. So how do we get this to show on our Windows Explorer? It's pretty straightforward, and I'll show you how to do it in this video. Now, another thing that people have said that they do is they use the uh, Assistant, the Synology Assistant, to try and detect it on their computer and when they run it it doesn't actually detect any Synology NAS on their network it this doesn't really matter so much because I'll show you a way to get around it so when you do a scan for your Synology NAS it might say that it's not detected or it's not on this local network not to worry we'll show you a way of how to get this onto your Windows Explorer, so you can just drag files straight into that folder here. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do this. So click OK here, and I'm going to close this off, and we're going to go back down uh, to the Windows File Explorer here, and we're going to go back to the network here, and you, that little icon here, which is your other device, make sure your NAS drive is turned on, and click on it, and it will take you to this page here. You now need to uh, put in your account details this will be your admin account and your uh, user password for that account sign in and you should see something like this go to your control panel once you get in your control panel go to file services inside here you're going to see smb afp and nfs you need to make sure that that is enabled the enable the smb service needs to be ticked and down the bottom here this is where your path is. You should see PC Windows Explorer backslash backslash. And this will be the name of your NAS, what you called it. And mine is called Office NAS. Also down here, you can see there's NFS and some other options available if you want to use those on, say, for instance, Mac or Linux or something like that. But we're going to be using the SMB on here. So remember what your a server name is for your NAS so we've got the office NAS I'm going to create a shared folder here just because we want to create a share for that and I'm going to call this one say for instance movies yours can be whatever you like I'm going to call this Plex movies right here and then once we've done this you can go through and set this up exactly how you like on your NAS I'm just going to leave this as it is and go next once we've done this you can encrypt uh, this shared folder if you wish i'm going to leave that off and again you can uh, play around with some of these advanced settings if you want to so i'm going to click apply here and then that's done so let's click apply now we get the permissions area here so what do i want to do so we want read and write i don't want access for the admin and guests i don't want to have access to that either i just want my account here read and write for that particular folder and you can make it read only or you can give guests read only so they can only see what's in there as a read only or you can set up a custom permissions and there's advanced permissions up there as well click OK and now we have our folder here so we can access this folder from our Windows directory or we can access any other folder so remember that path there and also we need the path for the movies so go back to your Windows File Explorer and you can right click on this PC show more options and you should see Mapper Network Drive here you can access it from here by clicking on it or you can go up to the top hit the three dots and you can map a network drive this way click on this one here a box will pop up and now you get the option to change a drive letter so I want to use drive letter Z but you can use whatever uh, drive letter you want there so folder we need to now put our path in here it tells you that example down the bottom here so we know what our example is backslash backslash office and NAS it needs to be exactly how you've got it written so capital O and NAS in capitals 
for my particular network path for my NAS. Yours might be something different. Do backslash again, and then we can do movies, which is the folder that we created. And now we get the option to reconnect at sign in, which saves you having to quickly put in your details every time. And we can leave that ticked. You can also connect using different uh, credentials here. If you want to put that on, you can also do that as well there. But I'm going to leave this off for now. So now we've got this done, we can click finish and this will then try to map to that network drive and it's done it successfully. And once you've got this done, uh, you now see the drive. But if you do the extra credentials, you will need to put in all your username and password and stuff like that to get access to that drive if you wanted to do it that way. I just prefer to do it this way. So it's here and it's now open and I can then drop in files to this folder and uh, basically uh, set it up to how I like. Now I can have one for public sharing or whatever it is on here. You can have a bunch of different map network drives. You don't have just to have this one on your computer here. I'll just quickly copy in a file here so you can see it's copying across lovely and we get to that nice transfer speeds across there. So that's basically how you can set up your access files on your Synology NAS via the Windows File Explorer on Windows 11 and also Windows 10 and any other version of Windows. Now there is one more option that you might want to uh, check mark inside the Synology here. Go back to Control Panel, go back to File Services, and then head over to the Advanced tab this time. And then pull down a little bit and you should see some options available which says WS Discovery, Enable Windows Network Discovery to allow the files via uh, SMB. So you can put a tick in here and your local network device can be used in Windows Network Discovery to access files on your Synology NAS. Click apply and you can also add that feature in as well. It's always nice to add that one in. So we can close that off and that is pretty much it. You should then be having no trouble accessing your files or transferring files over to your Synology NAS via the Windows File Explorer in Windows 11 or any other version of Windows. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Now, if you want to join our Discord server, I'll leave the link in the video description. Just head over there, accept some of the uh, rules that we have on the server. We have to have these in place to protect you and others that use the server. And you can see the announcements area here where you can read announcements that I make. You can invite people and you can check your rank and a bunch of other stuff here. We have a general area which gives access to the general chat, technology chat, retro and Linux stuff. We got Raspberry Pi stuff here, Windows stuff. And then we go on to the PC support area where you can get help with PC builds and maybe get some technical support for some problems that you may be having with your computer. That's also another place where you can get help. Got some other bits and pieces on here where we've got some sales and uh, tech deals. And then we've got the media area where you can got gaming, anime, movies, music, photography, and loads of other areas like uh, 3D printing, photos, funny humor, and all that sort of good stuff. Paranormal is in there. There's loads of little channels in there. You can read stuff and add stuff in. We've got the community member area here, which is when you're active on the server, you'll get access to the community member area, which means you'll have access to the voice chat. Uh, you have to be 21 years of age to enter the voice chat. The reason for that is to protect you and others on the server. And it has to be that way, I'm afraid, because the server is 13 plus, which means anyone is welcome on there. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you on the Discord server. And uh, just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members. I do appreciate your support. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.